hands here. Alex Tronalone from New York City wants to know. The NBA is going through its own threat and lockout. Are there any solidarity plans with the NBA Players Association? Absolutely. Uh, Billy Hunter uh, is not only a great friend of mine, but a great teacher. Uh, we will be sending members of our executive committee uh, to meet with their executive committee during the All-Star break. Uh, we've got a number of uh, conversations going between us. I've had a great opportunity to meet and talk with Derek Fisher, uh, their president. Be so uh, we <laughs> believe in one team. Former be, teammate be, of LeBron. Great guy. Mm -hmm. yes, Very good. So, person. yes, Smart we're, guy too. Uh, we're locked arm in arm. Wow. Okay, next question. Shane Johnson from Cincinnati. Since the draft is the selection of a new layer of athlete workers, are there any mm. plans for any kind of NFLPA action at the draft? We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, <laughs> intriguing. Okay. <laughs> I, all right. Uh, can you please make sure, Michelle Bollinger of uh, Tacoma Park, Maryland, said, can you please make sure there's not an 18-game season? I'd like to see my husband. That's my wife, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, right now, the, the, an 18-game season is not in the best interest of the players. I don't believe it's in the best interest of the fans. Okay. Um, so, no. I, I, you know, I got to be honest with you. I have not talked to one player or one fan or one sports writer who has said they think an 18-game season would be good for the game. And we're talking like dozens and dozens of players, fans, and sports writers. Yeah. Nobody wants it. Even like people who are freaks for the NFL don't yeah. want it. If you see the Ray Lewis interview about it, that'll, 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 change, change, your mind. that'll change your mind. If you see Ray Lewis, who... Well, tell us about it, Ron. As intense a competitor as you'll ever meet, as, as, as passionate about football as anybody you'll ever meet, he said in his interview it would just not be in the best interest of players to have an 18-game season. Mm. If you look at the way players are limping around by the end of the season, there's no way that an 18-game season would be in the best hey, interest. I look at it this way. That little robot that jumps up and down on CBS? Yeah. Not us. Yeah. <laughs> not us. Wow. All right, we got some more questions. Got to give the fans some voice here. Mike Guidici, I'm not sure where he's from, he said, do you feel like it's hypocrisy for owners to preach player safety while simultaneously pushing for a longer regular season? Yes. Okay. Uh, John, thank you <laughs> for answering. That was an easy one. No, right no, there. this is good because these people want straight answers to these questions, and you're providing them, and I appreciate that. Uh, John Jacoby from New York City, who I actually went to high school with and played baseball with, listens to the show. He said, if the NFLPA decides to decertify in order to make an antitrust claim, what wow. does your role become? Uh, my role uh, will be as uh, executive director of the association. Um I'll, uh, our association, our unity of players, uh, our collection um, uh, of players, uh, we continue to operate to take care of pay players' pensions and things like that. But as an association, as a union, we, seek to, we cease to exist. Mm. Wow. Okay, and wow. does that doesn't affect your job? That doesn't affect the existence of... There are some changes. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some changes. But um, uh, what, what we would rather focus on is how do we get a deal done as quickly as possible? The, the intricacies of uh, renunciation and decertification uh, are indeed interesting. But a, a lot of things change for our organization, our association. Um, in many ways, we stop uh, and cease to exist. But um, So is that like a last resort? that you Have you thought about it, talked about it? That's the last bullet. It? That's the last bullet again? Mm -hmm. Because then you can take the NFL to court. Correct. Wow. Now, I, I got to ask you, don't you think the typical NFL fan is hella smarter than they were 15 years ago? I, you don't know how many questions I get about decertification. I mean, it's crazy. And I trust. But you know what? Because people can Google it and look at it. Right. People can find it and understand it. That's and true. I dig it because it allows us to have a more intelligent, comprehensive conversation. Mm hmm. And it's on a constant news cycle, man. Like, I'm watching ESPN. It's constantly being oh, talked yeah. about. Constantly. Well, and, and People what I, love their NFL. They love they the do. NFL. They're and worried. I, and, they're they're yeah, genuinely they worried about the season. And what I like is, you know, you can go to things like uh, NFLLockout.com uh, and, and find articles, information, graphs. I love the fact that people can take a deeper dive. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so they're more involved. Okay, I got uh, j just two more questions here. Tim Jerkovich, who's a terrific guy, actually. I know this guy. He's a professor in Cleveland. He he, uh, he's, he writes, how does the NFLPA plan to address the growing scientific link between playing and post-concussion syndrome, depression, early onset dementia, and is any of this dealing with this, the health costs of this, the social costs of this, does any of this enter the negotiations? In other words, the health of the player who's no longer playing. Yes and no, and that's a great question. Uh, let me start off this way. The health and safety concerns of the players of the National Football League, uh, I believe – 
uh, have emerged and will emerge as the most significant issue we will deal with um, as uh, businessmen in the business of football from now until the end of time. Um, I, I think that that issue is going to become the dominant issue. Uh, the only reason why I'm uh, uh, careful about saying or talking about how it impacts negotiations is I don't believe that we should be negotiating about player safety. I believe player safety, health and safety, the long-term consequences of playing this game are in many respects non-negotiable. Mm. I mean, for example, it, we bring our medical director to uh, CBA negotiation sessions. Why? Because I don't like lawyers. I don't even like me making determinations about how long practices should be because it seems to me that the right call is what's the medical best opinion. Yeah. So we formed our own concussion committee for exactly that reason. Um, yes, the NFL's concussion committee over the last two or three years has gotten better. I mean, the good news, it, their concussion committee is no longer uh, led by a rheumatologist. Uh, wow. Well, come on. That's where we were Right. 20, 20 months ago. Mm -hmm. Their concussion committee chairman was a rheumatologist. Hmm. So I'm happy about where uh, we have come and where we are going, but I also believe that given who we are as players in the National Football League, we have our own obligation to study those issues, make recommendations uh, about things like player safety. So, yes, they're going to be the most seminal issue we'll deal with, but no, uh, I'm not sliding dollars and cents across the table based on player safety. Okay. I, mm. ref I refuse to do it, won't do it. And for those guys out there, fire me because I'll never do it. Mm. And then the last question from uh, Joe Williams out You do Texas. look like Denzel Washington, don't you? Is that the question? No, no, no. <laughs> it was. It was. Got to hope. It was, my man. It was, it, my man. My man. Ha, my man. <laughs> King Kong. King Kong. You're a wolf. You're a wolf, Jake. You're a wolf. <laughs> oh, man. Last question. He said, if... You had a cream pie oh, next no. to you on a table. Has there ever been a moment when talking to Roger Goodell that you wanted to take said cream pie and have it meet his face? Stop. That um, was a real question. That is a real question. Uh, I've never been, uh, I couldn't pitch in high school, so I'll just answer it that way. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Incompletion. Yeah. Scaredy.